Okay, uh, we're going to talk today about how to use the citation feature in the new EBSCO Discovery Service. So I'm just going to open up this article. And it used to say cite. There used to be a word on the right that said cite. Now it's a little quotation mark. You click here and then you look for the citation style being used. We would be using APA 7th edition. There's your citation right there. You copy the clipboard. And then I would go to the last page of my paper with my references and I'm going to paste this in. And when I paste it in, that came in pretty good. Sometimes it'll come in with some kind of strange formatting. If you see any strange formatting, just click this little blue arrow in the middle here from your clipboard and that'll remove any strange formatting. It's it's pretty good though. Now, <clears throat> some things will be wrong on this. What what I would recommend doing go to the library website and go to library handouts. And here's an APA reference citation guide. If you open this up, it'll give you the basics of how your citations should look. So this is an article from an online database. I would just look at that. Notice this is called a hanging indent right here. And another thing that's really important, notice the title, you capitalize the first word of the title, but you write the rest of the title as if it's a sentence. So they call that sentence case in APA formatting. So I saw there were some corrections we'll need to make with this. So going back to our citation we pulled in here, <clears throat> and looking at this, I see all these words capitalized, and that's not right. Now, after after the colon for the subtitle, you would start the capitalization over. But what we would do here, only this needs to be capitalized. That's the first word of the sentence, and it is written as if it's a sentence. So I'm going to hold down my control key on my keyboard, and I'm going to highlight everything that does not need to be capitalized. And then on my keyboard, I'm going to click, click Shift F3. And that uncapitalizes things. That changes the capitalization of words. See that how it's going back and forth? Shift F3. You could also just retype everything, but that takes a little bit longer. So here, the capitalization would start over again right here. So I'm going to highlight everything that does not need to be capitalized. Shift F3. OK. Now, the, the journal title does need to be capitalized. That's a title of a journal, and so they do capitalize all the words in that. So International Journal of Management, Marketing, and Decision Sciences. Okay, This is the volume number, and that's the issue number, and that's the page that it's on. So it looks pretty good. Now we need to have a hanging indent. So what we do here, we highlight this, go up here to this little arrow, and under Special for indentation, we're going to set this to a hanging. Okay, and there's a hanging indent. Now, if this article had a DOI, a digital object identifier, we would put that at the end. If it doesn't have a digital object identifier, if it comes from a library database, you do not put a URL at the end. Okay, so let's take a look at our article here. I don't see a DOI. If, if there was a DOI, it would be in this. It would be in this article. They would list it right right down here somewhere if they had it. So let's go back to our article result list. Let's grab another one. So here's the next article on the list. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do here again, I'm going to click the site quotation mark here. Change this to APA. Now this one, notice there is a DOI at the end, so we would list that at the end of the citation. Copy to clipboard. Just going to paste this in. It looks pretty good, so I don't really see much need to take any formatting off. But if there was any strange formatting that came in, you would click this little clipboard here and click the blue arrow to remove any extra formatting. So the authors look good. It's always the author's last name, the first initial. If they list two initials, there's two initials. Commas between the authors. <clears throat> Before the final author, you do an ampersand. Okay. We've got the year. Okay, now we see that problem again, right? And we remember from from our our handout, it's always written like it's a sentence, the title. There's our DOI at the end. And then if a DOI is not listed, then you don't list a URL or anything at the end. And again, this came from the library website on the library handout section. And there's kind of this little guide here that you can just check pretty quickly what different citations should look like. Here's an article with a subtitle. Notice 
there's the title, there's the colon, then there's a subtitle, and the capitalization starts over again. So having those rules in mind, let's go back here to our reference. So we got the authors. Okay, so we're going to highlight everything that does not need to be capitalized. I'm going to hold down my control key. whole lot of words here. Now, Nigerian, I am going to leave capitalized. That's the name of a country. <clears throat> These I don't need to capitalize. Okay, then it's going to be Shift F3. Okay, there we go. Journal looks right. There's the, and the volume always gets italicized, and then the issue does not. There's the page numbers, and then here's the DOI. This is a digital object identifier. This is kind of like a serial number for that article. Okay, so let's grab another one. We'll just keep going here. We'll do a few of these right up here. Close this. Once you get going, it's it's not that hard. Go into this one. We'll do our little quotation marks. APA seventh. Copy to clipboard. Okay, and it came in pretty well. I don't see anything that needs to be removed, but I'm going to click that there. Okay, we've got the authors here. We've got the ampersand. Now we're going to have to uncapitalize these words that don't need to be capitalized. And then after the, the colon for the subtitle, we would start the capitalization over again, but then these words don't need to be capitalized. Okay, and this one we have volume, SI, that's a special issue. <clears throat> they don't list a page number. We might want to look at the article, see if we could find some page numbers, but they, they may not have them there. Okay, so this is all looking pretty good. No DOI at the end of this one, so we don't list a DOI. Now, the thing I would do with this, we've got We've got three citations here. They need to be in alphabetical order. So this one starting with U would come before that one. So instead of cu cutting and pasting things and maybe losing some of the formatting, I'm just going to highlight everything and then right up here, uh, go to A to Z, All right there, the sorting button. And I'll click OK. And now notice that they're in alphabetical order. So that's pretty much how you do it. It's it's pretty easy. I think it's maybe even easier than it used to be with the older EBSCO Discovery Service. So let me know if you have any questions on how to use the citation feature. Thank you. Bye-bye.